on the Brave Frontier Wikia, I saw that Tremaine12 posted an article called Things Wrong with Brave Frontier. Now, this got me really excited because there's a lot of things wrong with Brave Frontier. Between the fact that Gummy keeps taking people's money and not giving them gems, to the fact that the Wikia chat does nothing but talk about Pokemon all time, to the fact that the Discord for the Brave Frontier Reddit talks about nothing but their waifus and how much they want to doki doki all over their 12 year old girlfriends. So I was excited when I saw this by a post. I was like, yes! Let's let's raise hell. Let's make Brave Frontier great again. We're gonna build a wall and make the Pingus pay for it. And then I read the article and it's bad. Tremaine, you should feel bad for writing this article. You know what? I'm gonna call you out on it because what else am I gonna do? You know, he's talking about how it's lived for three years and it's only gotten more frustrating and never cared about their dear summoners. Well, that's not exactly true. It is a business. Um, that business is getting you to spend your money, so they do constantly come out with new units. Um, let's go over his item list, because it's, it's horrible. So, he talks about how most of the units that you encounter in normal quests, you've got a 0% chance of capturing. Um, that's not really true. It's just that most of the creatures you encounter in normal quests are god-awful. Um, now, earlier on, there's units that you can't get unless you do uh, special vortex dungeons or stuff like that. Some of which have gone on to be amazing units, you know, Mifune, for example. So he talks to begin about the only three units being the fodder units. Um, well, he just kind of pointed out number one's wrong, but yeah, that's your fodder units, which you use to increase your brave bursts and your super brave bursts when you're poor and you don't have frogs to do that. That's how the game's played. Why are you complaining about that? That's not anything new in the last three years. Are you really upset? can't just randomly go up and capture Olario? Is that your issue? I don't get it. Or maybe it's the fact that you can't capture units that now barely have a 5 star. Well, fortunately, those are cheaper now than ever. You've got some gates where you can get those for just 3 gems. You can get 3 gems just for completing a grand quest. You can be free to play and still get those units. Quit complaining. Um, mock units being less helpful than they seem, that's kind of a trope in many role-playing games. How many times have you fought a boss, the boss has joined your side, and then suddenly, turns out it doesn't have hundreds of thousands of hit points. That's, that's common in role-playing games. That's a trope. That's not just Gummy deciding that they're going to be mean because they hate you. I'm sorry that that upsets you about this game, really. Um, the requirement for Evolution Stones to evolve previously released units to the 7 or 8 star form. Um... Why? That's a wall to make sure that everyone isn't evolving all the units unless they have those items. It's an artificially inflated wall, but it's there. Also, I want to point out, 8-star isn't really a thing. It goes from 7-star to only. Okay, units being unable to gain experience by clearing a quest. Why would that bother you? Ah, you, the summer, gain experience. The dead people that you're summoning you gotta put more dead energy into them to make them better. That's how the game works. Enemies that have a Brave Burst skill that removes busts, deactivates later skills, and performing instant KOs. You mean units that have skills that make it impossible to one-shot things without thinking about it first and going in with specific squad members? Oh no, the horrors! Ah! Enemies that perform Brave Burst attacks that deal damage of a certain percent of units max hit points? There are a couple of units that do that to enemies, so I'm not sure what you're upset about. Also, again, that's something that you build squads around. That's There's some strategy involved there. Um, units filling their own Brave Burst gauge to the max, using their Brave Burst or Super Brave Burst. You mean like units like Taser? Ah, collaboration units that must be summoned just to be acquired. Sorry you don't get everything for free get a job, buy some gems, or do the content that gives the gems. Uh, the role-playing game testing both strategy and luck instead of just strategy, as opposed to many console games which also have an element of luck to them. 
you know, one of the great things about this game, in my opinion, is that it's not just about taking the greatest team based off of all the units out there. It's about creating the greatest team with the units you have and finding a way to make them work. I love that aspect of this game. Just putting that out there. Evolution dungeons giving random elements of each evolution unit instead of in an order. Uh, many evolution dungeons have a guaranteed uh, specific unit that they're going to give you. Um, you might pick up random stuff along the way, and I think that that's perfectly fine. Uh, some units that have a probable chance of granting a certain buff. Why? Are you upset because it's not a guaranteed chance to get that amazing buff? Here's a pro tip. Use a different unit. Problem solved. Yay. Units with a name not having a six-star minimum as their final form. Not every unit needs a six-star. Not every unit needs a seven-star. Not every unit needs an Omni. Not every unit is the same. That's why there's different tiers. And as the game goes on, we're seeing units that used to have uh, only a five or a six star suddenly getting an Omni evolution. We're probably going to continue to see that. Um, he's upset because some units get a six star or a seven star form as their starting evolution. I think that's great. You don't have to evolve their five star and six star form to get to the ultimate version. Enemies that inflict uh, random st static ailment, he says. Status is what you're looking for, kiddo, but that's okay. That lasts for three turns. If that's a big deal, if you don't have a status ailment remover, there's items that can take care of that for you, buddy. Um, inflicting a status ailment that's already been inflicted. It happens. Damage counters. Um, spheres that are not craftable. That's great, because there's spheres that you can craft and just by doing quests, there's spheres you can craft but you gotta do raids, there's spheres that you can craft but you gotta do vortex dungeons, and then some of them you have to unlock. And you know what? That variety is a good thing. I think we need more variety in this game. That's what this is you know, going for. And then showing no concern about anyone who plays this game. Now, their customer service is not great, but I think it's an extreme overreaction to say that they don't concern about anyone who plays this game. You know, there's over a million people that play this game at some point in time on the global servers alone. That should be a good sign that, you know, the game's doing something right. And it says, this is not to be rude or all, and then he goes on to be rude. But Brave Frontier would really need to make up for all of this. Even if everyone else thinks it's okay for this kind of thing to actually be a part of the game, it's really ungrateful for everything we are going through. You're ungrateful! What are you going through? It's a game. If you don't like it, if it's such a hardship for you, quit playing. You know, there's children starving in America because their parents don't have jobs and they don't like to eat their broccoli or whatever. You know, that that's a struggle. Uh, there's, you know, I've got schoolwork that I'm not doing too well in. That's a struggle. This isn't a struggle. And quite frankly, if it is, quit playing. Let me tell you what I like about this game. I like the community. There's a lot of different communities which have no problem telling you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right, and revel as you get good polls and you know share the pain when you get the bad ones. They love it when you do something well, but they always encourage you to do better, and if you do horribly, they're often not afraid to help you do better. I love that about this game. I love that the lore, which often makes no sense whatsoever, still manages to be so creative despite the fact that it makes no sense. I like the fact that the units are so varied and unusual. Um, I don't always care for every type of unit that comes out, but I guarantee you that one unit that I don't care for is another person's waifu, so that's okay. You know, there's people that really like Zex in ways that I don't think are appropriate, because it's a dang dog, but that's what this game does. You know, the community is great. I like that there's a certain level of challenge that isn't always a matter of having the right units, but being able to play with the units you have. Um, I would appreciate it if the uh, gates did have a better opportunity to give me what I wanted. You know, maybe a smaller pool to pull from. But that's the pay-to-play nature of this game. That's the trap of buying into it. Um, but I certainly think it's worth it for many people, and I think for those that it's not worth it for, there's still a lot to get from uh, the free-to-play nature of this game. This game is fairly accepting of those that don't want to put any money into it. Uh, a lot of people will tell you, you can get by without ever buying a single gem. 
Although if you want to, they're constantly doing specials, which is something they don't have to do. This game does a lot right. I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm especially not saying that Gummy is perfect. God knows they make a lot of stupid mistakes. I'm pretty sure that their servers are basically just a cardboard box with a bunch of calculator components that they bought from a thrift store and put together. Um, but it's still a fun game. I love the community around it. I love that things are constantly being added and the things that aren't great continue to get better. I remember when raids were god awful and now they're tolerable. You know, now we've got guilds in game. So, in short, you know, I, I disagree with this. I think you're the one who's ungrateful. And if this game isn't working out for you, I think the answer isn't to complain about it. I think the answer is to say, you know what? Maybe it's time for me to look for something else.